Guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. Hope you're doing well. So today I am launching a new series here on the channel where I'll be talking about the most popular cybersecurity certifications. I'll tell you all about them, how to prepare for them, how to pass them, and whether or not they're the right certification for you. So kicking off today's first episode, we're talking about the gold standard entry level certification which is going to be the CompTIA Security Plus. Now before I talk about the exam itself, I acquired my own CompTIA Security Plus certification way back in 2009 and here is my certificate right here. That's my name and that's my candidate ID and I was certified back on October 3rd, 2009. That's almost 13 years ago. I feel like a very old man talking to you right now. But enough about that, let's talk about the actual exam itself. So what is Computer Security Plus and why is it considered by many, including myself, to be the gold standard of entry-level certifications? Well, it is considered to be the gold standard for two main reasons. One is the simple fact that it is an exam that will test your knowledge on just about every single field under cybersecurity. Now, it's not a specialty exam like, like, like let's say, the uh, CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker exam, that focuses primarily on ethical hacking. Security Plus will test your knowledge on things like uh, malware, security analysis, cyber management, risk management, and even cyber forensics. So basically, you're expected to know something about everything under cybersecurity. The second reason why it's considered to be the gold standard is because it's also one of those very few entry-level exams that will actually test your troubleshooting skills. It's not entirely theoretical. You do have some practical aspects uh, regarding the questions uh, when it comes to uh, taking the CompTIA Security Plus. So basically, if you're someone who has acquired the CompTIA Security Plus certification, this tells potential employers or empl employers that you have the necessary knowledge to help and assist them in just about every field under cybersecurity. This is why it is such a well-respected entry-level certification in cybersecurity. Now, one very important thing I need to point out about the CompTIA Security Plus certification is that it is meant to be a stepping stone. What I mean here is that it is meant to be a certification to help you get a job, your entry-level job in cybersecurity. It is not meant to help you progress in your career as a cybersecurity professional. So typically, ideally, what you want to do is you get your certification, get your first entry-level job, and then you should start thinking about acquiring higher level certifications. That's how it's supposed to be. Now, the exam itself consists of a maximum of 90 questions with 90 minutes and a passing score of 750 based on a scale of 100 to 900. Now, the exam will test your ability in four main areas. The first one will be your ability to assess the security posture of an enterprise environment and recommend and implement appropriate security solutions. Second will be your ability to monitor and secure hybrid environments, including cloud mobile and, of course, Internet of Things, IoT. It will test your ability to operate with an awareness of applicable laws and policies, including principles of governance, risk, and compliance. And finally, it will test your ability to identify, analyze, and respond to security events and incidents. Now, how would you prepare for this exam? Well, a lot depends on how much knowledge you already have on the cybersecurity. If you're someone who already knows the basics of cybersecurity, I would highly recommend you go for CompTIA's very own self-paced study guide. You'll find it on their website. Now, there are courses that can help you prepare for the exam, but I personally have never taken these online courses before, so I cannot vouch for them. Now, if you're somebody who is entirely, completely new to cybersecurity, maybe you're currently working as an economist or a lawyer or in a, in a field completely different from cybersecurity, you need to acquire the basics of cybersecurity first. Now, shameless plug, I do have several cybersecurity courses meant for complete beginners. I'll have the links to the platforms. You can get them either on Udemy or on our personal platform, labcyber.com. I'll have the links to both platforms in the description box below. Now, let's talk about the most frequently asked questions. Question number one here would be, how long would it take for me to prepare for the exam? This is a very difficult question to answer because it is very, very subjective and a lot will depend on how much time you personally have to invest to prepare. So let's say, for example, you have one hour to spare every single day. So in a week, you have seven hours to prepare. It will take you longer than someone who has, let's say, two hours every day to prepare, which means they will have 14 hours per week. So a lot will depend on how much time you have to invest. 
but typically it takes about three months for someone to prepare for the exam uh, in order for them to pass the exam. The second question here would be, which version should I take? Should I take the 501 or the 601? Please take the 601 because it is the latest version of the exam. The 501 is old, it's getting outdated. So please make sure you're setting for the 601 version of the exam. Frequently asked question number three would be, how long would my certification be valid for? Typically, the answer would be three years. So if you were to sit for the exam this year, 2022, by 2025, it will be time for you to renew your certification. Which begs the question, okay, so does this mean that I will have to rewrite the exam all over again if I wanted to renew it? Well, yes and no. You can choose to rewrite the exam if you want to, but there's another way how you can renew your certification without ever having to rewrite it. What am I talking about? Well, it turns out that Comta have this very special program called the Continuing Education Units Program, where if you acquire at least 50 continuing education units in three years and you upload them to your certification account, your Security Plus certification will automatically renew. Now, how exactly can you acquire these 50 units? There are several ways. One would be to sit for the CompTIA Cert Master CE, which is an online e-learning course that will bridge the content gap between the formal version of the exam and the most recent version of the exam. Option number two would be to sit for a higher level content certification and option number three if you're no longer interested in content certifications you can go for a non comptia it industry certification how this works is if you are able to earn or renew a qualifying non comptia it industry certification to meet the renewal requirements for your existing content certification your security plus certification will automatically renew itself so that's it for today's video where I've talked about the Computer Security Plus exam and certification. If you have any comments or questions, of course, feel free to post them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone who you may feel might benefit from it. And if you're new here to the channel, my name is Alex. I talk about cybersecurity, news and certifications, exams, tips and so on. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. It's been a pleasure. Talk to you soon. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next time. Cheers.